Live from CBS4, this is your News Now. Cause for change amplifying at Purdue University tonight over this viral video of a student's arrest. The new voice now calling for a full investigation. Plus, two homicide investigations underway right now involving infants. The message from experts today on protect protecting all children. And a cell phone robbery spree is over. Why police say their work should be a warning for would-be robbers. And we begin tonight, though, with breaking news. A judge is taking a life sentence off the table in the trial of a man accused of killing a Southport police officer. Lieutenant Aaron Allen was shot and killed in the line of duty back in 2017. Police say Jason Brown pulled the trigger. Brown's trial on murder charges started on Monday. CBS 4's Mike Sullivan joins us now live from Southport with the details on this decision. Mike. Yeah, we are here at that police department where, as you can expect, frustrations palpable. You can feel it here as a lot of these officers worked with Lieutenant Aaron Allen. This is a very complicated case as both sides believe they had a plea agreement in place until a judge ruled against it. Now, Lieutenant Allen was shot and killed while responding to an overturned vehicle in 2017. Body camera footage shows Jason Brown pulling out a gun and firing. Lieutenant Allen was shot 11 times while trying to render aid. In December, Marion County prosecutor Ryan Mears agreed to drop the death penalty if Brown waived his rights to a jury trial. Southport Police Chief Tom Vaughn says there were concerns that a jury trial would be live streamed due to COVID rules. Allen's family was fearful that this body camera footage would be shown to the world. Instead, the agreement was supposed to see Brown face life in prison without parole. Today, a judge ruled against it. He can, he can get 45 to 65 years. And so let's say he gets 45 years, he has to do 75%. Yeah, I mean, he's going to be out in the 60s. And he murdered a police officer. And you can't say any different. He shot at him 18 times. Now, Chief Vaughn says Brown's legal team argued that Brown had a seizure prior to the shooting and was not in a clear mental state. And talking more with Vaughn, he said that during the trial, other doctors came out and testified that despite those medical issues, it would not have made him incoherent. I'm in Southport. I'm Mike Sullivan. Back to you. Mike, thank you. This evening, we are also tracking the fallout from video showing a Purdue police officer detaining a student after a domestic disturbance. One state lawmaker is now joining the calls for action. State Representative Chris Campbell represents West Lafayette, which includes the Purdue campus. In a statement today, she says that she is, quote, very concerned and disturbed by the video and supports a full investigation. The state rep goes on to say that no student should feel unsafe or experience fear on campus, especially by the hand at the hands of those who are tasked with providing a safe environment. Purdue students have also called for change after this video went viral in a town hall just last night. The university is investigating the incident themselves and will involve state troopers in the review. The officer who made that arrest has been put on leave. And the university tells us that he had received death threats because of that video. Also, new information now as IMPD releases the name of a man arrested in a homicide from January. 50-year-old Edgar Arcega has been charged with murder. He's accused of killing a woman named Penny Turner on January 8th. Police were originally called to the home on South Belmont Avenue for a reported burglary. Investigators found Turner in the bathroom covered with a blanket. They say she had been strangled, stabbed, and hit over the head with the lid of a toy toilet tank. Arsenga was also in the home. One month after the homicide, detectives say DNA and video evidence was used to charge Arsega with the killing. Well, right now, IMPD is investigating a second infant death by non-accidental trauma within just a couple of weeks. And today, the Marion County Coroner's Office ruled a two-month-old baby's death a homicide. CBS 4's Courtney Crown shares what we know so far. It was February 5th when IMPD officers were called out to Timber Ridge Drive for a two month old infant who wasn't breathing. That baby died days later. In light of this tragedy, we spoke with experts today who have a message for everyone, and that includes people who think this could never happen to their family. We just need to make sure that we're on top of these kind of things so that we don't find the kid when they don't have a chance anymore. First responders found a baby unresponsive and not breathing on February 5th. The baby was rushed to Riley Children's and passed away on February 9th. The coroner's office ruled the baby's cause of death blunt force trauma. When you see the the day in and day out of like the horrible things that happen to kids, it can take a toll on you. IMPD's Detective Alicia Bernhardt spoke generally about the cases she investigates. She urges people to pay attention to children. Things that kind of make your hair stick up and think that 
the kids shouldn't be bruised there. They shouldn't have that sort of injury. Just say something. Call the Indiana Department of Child Services Child Abuse and Neglect Hotline or 911 if the concern is urgent. Please call police. Please call, you know, whoever we need to get there right away to make sure that kid's taken care of. Before the infant's death on February 9th, another two-month-old baby, Kamora Sutton, also died with non-accidental injuries on January 21st. We know it's tough on the, the families. We know it's tough on the community. Experts advise those around children to know their triggers, take deep breaths when frustrated, and identify a person to call for help if you need it. This can include a loved one or even a nearby member of the faith community. I've never known any of them to, you know, reject someone just because they don't go to, to that uh, particular place. We have important life-saving information posted right now on CBS4Indy.com. Reporting on the Far East Side, Courtney Crown, CBS4 News. Courtney, thank you. We have a list of those important resources posted right now on our website, CBS4Indy.com. Well, tonight, seven teenagers are facing criminal charges following a series of armed robberies. The suspects are accused of robbing cell phone stores across the metro area in November and December of last year. A 42-page affidavit claims the suspects, who range in age from 16 to 19 years old, were connected to at least nine robberies. Suspects focused on stealing iPhones, often walking away with large bags of phones valued at tens of thousands of dollars. Luckily, no one was seriously hurt during any of the robberies, but police hope the case serves as a warning to other potential thieves. The big picture is this, is that uh, we will find you, we will catch you, and we will hold you accountable uh, to the extent of the law. And so at the end of the day, we ask that you don't do it. Common sense to tell you uh, when people go into stores with guns and robbing people, uh, there could be such a volatile ending that could occur. While six of the seven suspects have been arrested, 19-year-old Demora Bryant is still wanted on an active warrant. Police are asking for the public's health locating Bryant. All seven suspects are facing charges in adult court. Law enforcement officials in Hancock County are seeing a lot of success with license plate cameras. And now they're adding more to their network as police departments across the state look to catch more criminals. Earlier today, I went to see how it all works and why police say it's made their jobs a whole lot easier. Chances are you've probably driven by them and not noticed they're there, but license plate cameras like these are popping up more and more. We've used it, uh, you know, quite a bit. I mean, I know my investigators use it all the time. Hancock County Sheriff Brad Burkhart just added six more of them to the 16 he already had. His department has been using them for about a year, and he says they've been an invaluable tool. If that technology helps make me do that, then I'm going to use it to, to help. The cameras take pictures of license plates and use technology to identify vehicles. We unknowingly passed through one of the cameras on our way to speak to the sheriff. Within minutes, using the make and color of our car, he was able to find where we had been. I know it's a red Ford. Maybe I got a partial plate on it. You know, I'm able to use those as all the search parameters to be able to find that car. Columbus PD just added the cameras to their arsenal two months ago. Earlier this week, the cameras alerted them that a stolen vehicle was passing through. They were able to track down the car and arrest the driver, 44-year-old Anthony Smith. These cameras, they act as an extra set of eyes that uh, assist our officers. Lieutenant Matt Harris says the cameras also help outside of criminal cases. They can be used to quickly identify cars and Amber Alerts or even for missing people. When you're dealing with those types of, of incidents or investigations that you know time is of the essence. Some privacy issues have been raised, but... If you're a law-abiding citizen, I really honestly don't care uh, that you cross that camera. Now, the Hancock County Sheriff's Office shares that its cameras shares its cameras rather with 39 other agencies for a total of 321 cameras across the entire county there. The sheriff hopes to expand that network and work with departments throughout central Indiana. Well, a top official from the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency visited the Circle City today. Deputy Administrator Janet McCabe toured Indianapolis's Recycle Force. Recycle Force was recently selected by the EPA for a $200,000 Brownsfield job training grant. And that grant can be used for job training to clean up sites that present environmental hazards or challenges. We are saving the earth. What we do every day, we save the earth for the kids, children, teachers, whatever. We earth savers. I'm so grateful to have you guys in this community. I'm grateful for leaders like Greg and all of you here.
Recycle Force is one of 19 organizations nationwide to receive funding through that Brownsfield job training grant. The Biden administration is urging all Americans to get out of Ukraine. How soon they warn that Russia could invade. And for some people, half the fun of the Super Bowl is watching the ads. How much money companies are shelling out for mere seconds in the spotlight. Ghosts are in here. Oh, I assume they're everywhere. That's why I shower with a bathing suit. <laughs> it's got little duckies on it. What is my life even? One day we'll all Lord. be ghosts. I just want to have fun with my ghost bros, right? Ah! One day we'll all be ghosts. Ghost, what happened to my obedient wife? You were a terrible husband, Elias, and my least favorite cousin. TV's number one new comedy, Ghosts. CBS Thursdays and catch up anytime on Paramount Plus. They're made with pride, right here in the USA. Honda is the most American-made automaker, with over 28 million Hondas made in 12 plants across America. Search your local Honda dealer today. At Precision, we know when it's cold, springs are definitely gonna break. People don't do a lot of preventative maintenance, so when it gets cold, their stuff breaks. We've got trucks all over central Indiana, so we'll never leave you in the cold. Precision Door Service, a name you can trust. It's live on stage and coming your way, South Pacific. Some enchanted indeed. Enchanted indeed, South Pacific. February 22nd, tickets on sale now. Go to butlerartscenter.org. Meet a future mom, a first time mom, and a seasoned pro. This mom's one step closer to their new minivan. Yeah, you'll get used to it. This mom's depositing money with tools on hand. Judging. And this mom, well, she's setting an appointment here so her son can get set up there and start his own financial journey. That's because these moms all have Chase. Smart bankers, convenient tools. One bank with the power of both. Chase, make more of what's yours. How do you measure success? In points? In wins? or trophies. At Shelter Insurance, we measure success in the quality of our products and services, in how we support our communities, in being there when you need us most. We're your shield. We're your shelter. We'll open it, sew it, change it, jump it, gas it, or help it whenever you need it with 24-7 roadside assistance. When you drive Honda Certified, Search your local Honda dealer today. Well, the U.S. continues to warn that a Russian invasion of Ukraine could be imminent, and it's cautioning U.S. citizens in the country that they will not be rescued if war does break out. Natalie Brand has more details now from the White House. National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan repeated an urgent warning from the president for Americans to get out of Ukraine immediately. The risk is now high enough and the threat is immediate enough that prudence demands that it is the time to leave now. Sullivan says intelligence reveals Russia has now amassed all the forces it needs to start a major military action against Ukraine if Russian President Vladimir Putin decides to move forward. We can't pinpoint the day at this point, uh, and we can't pinpoint the hour, but what we can say is that there is a credible prospect that a Russian military action would take place even before the end of the Olympics. The president told NBC News' Lester Holt that he will not send U.S. troops into Ukraine to rescue Americans if Russia invades. We're dealing with one of the largest armies in the world. This is a very different situation and things could go crazy quickly. Earlier Friday, the president spoke to world leaders and NATO allies via video conference. The White House and NATO says they are united and prepared for any scenario. What we have communicated to our allies and partners, all 30 allies in NATO plus a range of other partners, uh, our latest intelligence information, and it does not include a statement that uh, Vladimir Putin has definitively given an order to proceed with the invasion. Russia announced no-go zones prohibiting aircraft and fishing boats in parts of the Black Sea surrounding Ukraine. Russia says the restrictions are in place for military exercises next week. From the north, from the east. The Russians are in a position to be able to mount a major military action in Ukraine any day now. 
While the Biden administration says it will not send U.S. troops to fight in Ukraine, it's beefing up the defenses of nearby NATO countries. A striker group of nearly 1,000 U.S. soldiers arrived in Romania Friday. Natalie Brand, CBS News, the White House. The U.S. Air Force announced today that it is deploying an F-16 squadron to Romania to enhance the security of that NATO country. This is on top of the nearly 2,000 soldiers from the 82nd Airborne who arrived in Poland earlier this week. Controversy in Beijing after a Ukrainian skeleton athlete made his feelings on the ongoing crisis with Russia known. You can see him here holding up a sign that says no war in Ukraine. Shortly after the race, the International Olympic Committee said there would be no repercussions for the athlete. There had been a question of whether his actions violated an IOC rule banning protests during competitions. And it's been unfortunately a down day for Team USA at the Winter Olympics. Skier Michaela Schifrin finished ninth. Sweden are now tied for second for the most gold medals. They each have five. Germany has the most gold medals with six. And when it comes to the overall medals, we're rooting for our team there, but uh, not having the best Olympics ever. But, uh, you know, maybe they'll get better over the weekend. We'll, yeah, we'll, we'll see. Find out. Yeah. Yeah. Let's find out about our weather here locally. Chris is uh, standing by with a weekend forecast that I that I hope has some positive notes somewhere, Chris. <laughs> well, maybe not so positive for this weekend. <laughs> oh, we got no. some okay. big changes coming our way. We've had one cold front make its way across the state today. And that gave us a scattered showers. A second one's going to move through overnight. That's going to bring in some much colder air. So we'll see rain changing over to snow before ending overnight and back behind that cold front. Our winds are going to shift coming in from the northwest and that's going to bring in bitter cold air coming up for Saturday and Sunday. In terms of rainfall today, we had a tenth of an inch of rain here in the city, but a half inch of rain came down in Lafayette. Some heavier showers occurred to our north. In terms of temperatures, we made it up to 45 this afternoon, 48 for the high in Columbus and in Bloomington, but colder in Kokomo today where the high was only 39 degrees. Right now it's 37 in Kokomo, 38 Muncie, 36 in Richmond, still in the 40s right now in Bloomington and in Columbus. In terms of rainfall this month, we had just under two inches, so we're off to a fast start, especially with the heavy rainfall that we had last week across the area. So far this year, we've had four weekends with either rain or snow, only two completely dry weekends, and I don't think this one is going to be completely dry. In fact, over the next four days, we're going to see a cold snap settling in for Saturday and Sunday with highs only in the 20s, then warmer on Monday with a high at 34, then a big jump in the temperature by Tuesday up to 47 degrees. Overnight will cool down to 22 here in the state capital, 21 in Muncie, down to 20 in Richmond and in Lafayette. Colder in Kokomo tonight with a low at 19. Tomorrow, expect clouds and a few flurries around across the area. No major accumulating snow out there, but it is going to be a rather chilly day. A 9 o'clock temperature, 22, and we'll keep the temperature in the 20s on through the afternoon with a northwest wind at 15 miles per hour. On Sunday, we'll see a better chance of snow showers coming up later in the afternoon across the area could be enough snow to cover the ground on Sunday and will stay chilly for the second half of the weekend at noon on Sunday. The temperature 21 and will keep the high temperatures in the 20s on Sunday afternoon with snow showers and a northwest wind at 10 miles per hour In the seven day forecast after a chilly weekend with those temperatures in the 20s. We are going to see a warm up sunshine on Monday with a high at 34 then sunny skies on Tuesday with a high at 47. A big jump in the temperatures comes on Wednesday. Cloudy skies a high at 59. We're going to be warm enough on Thursday. We'll watch out for rain and possibly a few thunderstorms. Enjoy that midweek warm up because by next Friday we'll get back to where we should be for this time of the year. We'll have clouds and a few flurries around next Friday. A morning low of 25 and a high of only 34. All right, Chris, looks good. Thank you. Super Bowl Sunday is nearly here, and of course, it's a huge day for advertisers. Yeah, companies shell out millions of dollars for mere seconds of airtime, and they are happy to do that. Advertisements during the Super Bowl can reach over 100 million viewers in the U.S. alone. A huge opportunity for businesses to connect with both adults and kids. It's on Sunday at 6.30 for a reason. I mean, that is still considered in America as family time. And so if you're an advertiser, if you're an organization, it is a prime place uh, where you know you're going to have viewers from all over the world, especially here in the States, uh, at their TVs watching at, at, at the same time. 30-second ad for this year's Super Bowl is expected to cost about $6.5 million. That's up nearly a million dollars from last year's average of $5.6 million for a half-minute spot. Wow. Well, protests by truckers against COVID measures may be coming to the United States the way they may impact the Super Bowl this Sunday. Plus, the shocking number of people keeping financial secrets from their partners.
racer like a warrior in an all-wheel drive Hyundai SUV. It's your journey. Own it. Get 1.9% APR for 60 months on 14 of our most popular SUVs, sedans, and hybrids. Visit buyhyundai.com today. Men, are you struggling with erectile dysfunction? Well, you may not have to take pills any longer. There is now a breakthrough technology that can eliminate ED. I'm joined now by Andrew to tell us all about it. Nisha, we use the most advanced form of acoustic wave therapy, which is shown to open up blood vessels and improve circulation. We've helped so many couples restore normal intimacy without the pills. Andrew, what kinds of clinical studies have been performed on your technology? There are over 45 clinical studies. Even Cambridge University showed our treatments to be effective. One study called it the new standard of care for erectile dysfunction. If you are struggling with erectile dysfunction and want to turn back the clock in the bedroom, take advantage of this special offer and get your love life back. Put a stop to your erectile dysfunction. Call Pine Grove Medical Clinic. You'll get the initial assessment and blood flow ultrasound free and a special gift proven to produce powerful results in the bedroom. A $650 value free to those that call right now. 317-552-1111. Are you looking for a better night's sleep? Visit your nearest Long's mattress location and experience the Long's difference. We proudly offer the complete line of Bulls mattresses, including the luxurious West Baden collection, all made right here in Indiana. These are great beds that cost way less than those overpriced national brands. And you'll love our no pressure, highly trained staff. They'll make sure you find a new mattress that's perfect for your needs and budget. Visit any of our Indy locations, including our new store on Whitestown Parkway. Long's mattress, everyday low prices, everyday honesty. One hot sevens ticket, please. Welcome to the Hoosier Heat Wave. With the new hot sevens scratch offs in town, you can expect temperatures to drop, but the excitement to heat up. Stay fun out there, folks. It's going to be a scorcher. Only from the Hoosier Lottery. Imagine that. Winter like a warrior in an all-wheel drive Hyundai SUV. It's your journey. Own it. Get 1.9% APR for 60 months on 14 of our most popular SUVs, sedans, and hybrids. Visit buyhyundai.com today. While protesting, truckers in Canada have reopened up a lane of traffic in Windsor, Ontario to allow vehicles coming in from the U.S. It's a small breakthrough in blockades by truckers protesting pandemic regulations. They've stopped traffic in the nation's capital of Ottawa and on a bridge connecting Detroit with Ontario, Canada. Truckers want an end to vaccine requirements and other COVID-19 rules. The blockade started a couple of weeks ago and have caused supply shortages for Detroit's auto industry and other businesses. Ontario's premier has declared a state of emergency in reaction to the blockades. He also plans to issue orders that make it illegal to block critical infrastructure. In California, officials are warning of a possible trucker protest at the Super Bowl. The protesters say they are against the city hosting the largest Super Bowl in NFL history while mandating masks at other businesses. The truckers say they were inspired by the protests in Canada and officials say they have no reports of threats of violence. The main issue will be the traffic backups as a result of that protest. Well, Apple is making some changes to their air tags after multiple reports of stalking. Air tags are small round devices you can attach to anything and everything and then track it with your phone. The worry is that some stalkers and thieves are planting air tags on people and then following their movements. Apple acknowledged that some users are using the devices for malicious reasons and they are working with law enforcement on air tag related requests. Soon anybody setting up an air tag will see a warning telling them that using the device for unwanted tracking is a crime. Well, nearly one in three people keeps a financial secret from their partner. That's according to TD Bank's annual love and money survey. The most common, 40%, said they've kept a big purchase private. Credit card debt and secret bank accounts followed. Among those keeping secrets, 50% say they have no intention of ever spilling the details. Hmm, interesting. Well, the co-founder of the movie subscription service MoviePass is now bringing it back. Stacy Spikes says he plans to try to test a new business model for the service this summer. It's called Pre-Show. Users will be able to watch ads and get credits. They can exchange those credits for movie tickets. Spikes says MoviePass will use technology that tracks your eyeballs to make sure you are actually watching those ads. Wow, okay. Oh, and at one point, this, that <laughs> service had more than 3 million subscribers and let them see an unlimited number of movies per month for just $10. 
That model, though, is not coming back. That, I think, wow, though, that's, that's a little weird. kind of creepy, yeah. I mm -hmm. think. All right, well, Super Bowl weekend is typically a party weekend. The important reminder tonight to designate a driver if you do plan to drink. Plus, this weekend is full of traditions for the team's fans and even our sports anchors. Our Chris Hagen joins us live for our famous Super Bowl spelling bee next. No major problems on the roadways right now in Broad Ripple where traffic is moving in spite of the rainfall that's moving on through the area. We'll talk about when this rain could possibly change over to snow in the seven day forecast. to save it the biggest President's Day sale only at The Room Place. Take an extra 20% off your entire purchase. Plus, save with 0% financing for five years and no down payment. Hundreds of living rooms, dining rooms, bedrooms, and mattresses in stock and going fast. Get free gifts. Enter to win a $10,000 home makeover. Save now at the President's Day sale with an extra 20% off your entire purchase only at The Room Place. Prepare to feel good in 2022. Join Planet Fitness by February 16th and enjoy tons of equipment in our clean and spacious clubs for zero enrollment. Zero enrollment? And 10 bucks a month. That's $10 a month? Cancel any time. That makes me so happy. You know what else will make you happy? Blowing off steam in our judgment-free zone. <laughs> it's all about the endorphins, baby. What's up? It's this place, I tell you. See you, man, baby. Join now and feel spectacular for zero enrollment, $10 a month. Cancel any time. Deal ends Wednesday, February 16th. Get fast, reliable internet for any budget. Act now to get Xfinity Internet for a great low price. Or visit Xfinity.com slash free to see if you qualify for the Affordable Connectivity Program. Qualifying customers can get free high-speed internet for more streaming, chatting, and gaming on all your devices. Ready for more value? Add Xfinity Mobile for as little as $15 a month. Go to Xfinity.com slash free, call 1-800-XFINITY, or visit a store today. Keep your vehicle protected this winter with WeatherTech. Laser measured floor liners protect the carpet. Seat protectors to keep seats safe from spills and messes. And cup phone keeps your phone secure while allowing easy access while charging. WeatherTech's got your vehicle covered all season long. Order your American made products at WeatherTech.com. Step into the new when you drive a Chevy. It's time for a fresh approach and a new perspective. Meet new friends or reconnect with some old ones and find the Chevy that's right for you. Find new experiences, find new roads. Step into the new with a new Chevy. Very well qualified buyers can get 0% financing on most Chevy vehicles. Plus, on select models, current Chevy owners get an additional $750 bonus cash. Chevrolet, the number one selling brand in central Indiana. The disability courts are still processing cases. Whether you are just getting started or already received a denial, the Hinkey Law Team is ready to help. You don't even have to leave the comfort of your home. Call or text Hankey Law today. Live from CBS 4, this is your news now. Well, a judge is taking a life sentence off the table in the trial for a man accused of killing a Southport police officer. Lieutenant Aaron Allen was shot and killed in the line of duty back in 2017. Police say Jason Brown pulled the trigger. The judge said that the life sentence was removed because the state failed to prove that Brown was aware that Allen was a police officer at the moment he was fatally shot. Brown cannot face the death penalty either because of a deal reached to avoid a jury trial. A judge will decide Brown's sentence as the bench trial goes on next week. The fallout from video showing a Purdue police officer detaining a student after a domestic disturbance continues tonight. One state lawmaker now is uh, joining the calls for action. State Representative Chris Campbell represents West Lafayette and says that she's, quote, very concerned and disturbed by that video and supports a full investigation. Well, a Bloomington man has been arrested for murder thanks to an anonymous tip. The tip led police to a home on Graham Drive where they found Gary O'Brien sleeping on the couch and a dead man in the bedroom who had been wrapped up in some blankets. Officers arrest, arrested O'Brien that you see on the screen there on charges of drug dealing and failing to report a body. After an autopsy found the man had been killed by a gunshot, they added a murder charge to O'Brien's charges. IMPD continues investigating the homicide of a two-month-old baby on the east side. This is the second two-month-old baby to be killed in the city in roughly two weeks. 
Police say they were called to Timber Ridge Drive February the 5th, where a baby was unresponsive and not breathing. The child died February 9th. The coroner's office says the cause of death is blunt force trauma. All right, well, let's take a live look outside over downtown Indianapolis. It was actually uh, pretty warm today when I was out and about, but yeah. temperatures going to drop pretty dramatically overnight, could get slick out there. Yeah, that's right. The DPW, in fact, is going to have trucks. Chris may have mentioned this, too. They're going to have their trucks out tonight, yeah. what, after 11 o'clock tonight, Chris? Yeah, after 11 o'clock tonight, we're expecting some light rain to change over to a mix of rain and snow and changing over to all snow before ending tonight. So they're going to get out there and treat the roadways to make sure things are smooth for us on Saturday morning. We've had one cold front make its way across the state today, giving us rain. Another one now moving through Illinois. That's going to move on through and bring in some much colder air. So we'll see the possibility of that rain snow mix changing over to all snow and creating a few slick spots out there tonight. Didn't get a lot of rainfall in some spots, less than a tenth of an inch of rainfall between Bloomington, Shelbyville and Richmond, but over a half inch of rain came down in Lafayette today, so they had a pretty good soaking farther to or north. In terms of temperatures, we started out with a morning low of 30 in Kokomo, 27 in Richmond and 32 for the morning low in Bloomington. Then we warmed up to high temperatures in the middle 40s this afternoon, as warm as 48 in Columbus and in Bloomington. Right now, temperatures running about five degrees warmer than they were this time yesterday. So yeah, Max, you're right. It was warmer out there earlier today. Right now, most of the rainfall moving through east central Indiana. 38 right now in Muncie, 38 here in the city, and 39 the current temperature in Lafayette. The winds are strong right now coming in from the west at 15 miles per hour across central Indiana, and that is giving us wind chill values down below freezing. This is going to be a chilly weekend ahead. We'll talk about that coming up at 547. All right, Chris, thank you. Well, it is official. Super Bowl weekend, and no matter how or where you plan to watch the game, police are reminding you to be smart. Yeah, that's always important. Our Leah Blackburn has more on their message to you to stay safe. As football fans plan for Sunday's Super Bowl kickoff, it is a very busy time for it. So are state and local police. ISP Sergeant Matt Ames says troopers will be on patrol looking for impaired drivers. You decide to get behind the wheel two or three seconds, all of a sudden your life could change. The warning comes after a deadly crash on Thursday in Indianapolis. IMPD says a pedestrian was hit and killed at the intersection of 36 and Keystone on the city's near northeast side. Police arrested the driver, 46-year-old James Flowers, at the scene. His preliminary charges include operating while intoxicated, causing death, and driving while suspended. Not only do you put yourself at risk, you put other people at risk as well. IMPD Sergeant Vincent Stewart says they'll also be monitoring drivers throughout the weekend. We are going to have extra officers on patrol, uh, as well as those officers will be working overtime as far as to curb those that are driving under the influence of alcohol and or any other substance. And if you're trying to keep score, police say the consequences are hefty, including jail time and costly fines. Automatically, that's going to cost you anywhere between five to $10,000 um, as far as lawyer fees, insurance rates, uh, possibly losing your job, depending upon what type of job you have. Hoping to warn drivers now so it won't cost them later. In Indianapolis, Aliyah Blackburn, CBS 4 News. Aliyah, thank you. And if you plan to drink, police urge you to stay where you are if you can, get a designated driver, or use a ride share. We have links to ride share deals, by the way, on our website, cbs4indy.com. Officials in Wayne Township are working to determine the cause of a fire on Indianapolis's near southwest side. They say there was a small fire at Covanta Environmental Solutions. That fire happened deep inside the Waste Management Company's building. The Wayne Township Fire Department says there were no reported injuries from that fire. Well, new coronavirus cases are down again today. The Indiana Department of Health is reporting a little more than 2,800 new cases and hospitalizations. Well, they're down as well. Around 1,900 patients are in the hospital that have COVID-19 right now. This is the first time cases have been under 2,000 since last November. Super Bowl 56 kickoff is just two days away. Crews have been busy cleaning up the greater Los Angeles area, hoping to present the area's best face for thousands of visitors. Federal, state, and local authorities are also in place ahead of the big game to keep fans safe. That includes strict COVID-19 guidelines for fans. Anyone attending the game over the age of two is required to wear a mask. Masking doesn't affect a business's bottom line, and it certainly will not affect the attendance or our enjoyment of the game. 
Attendees will also have to show proof of vaccination or negative COVID tests before entering the stadium. The NFL plans to offer free rapid testing so attendees can get results before entering the stadium. Fans will also receive KN95 masks. Well, the Rams take on the Bengals, of course, out at uh, SoFi Stadium in Southern California on Sunday. Our Chris Hagan has been there all week long for us, and today he joins us with a yearly game week tradition. Chris. Debbie, it's a tradition unlike any other, and I know you've loved this in years past. I'll be easy on you this time around, but yeah, every year we put fans of all ages to the ultimate test. It's time for the Super Bowl spelling bee. Cooper Cup. C O O P E R and then C U P. C O O P E R space. K-U-P-P. -P. You had to show off and throw the space in there. C.J. Uzama. C-J-U-Z-O-M-A-H. Boom. He's not in the Super Bowl, but just because he's my favorite player. Spell Dak Prescott. D-A-C, I mean D-A-K. Right off the bat. Shadobe Awuzie. Uh, S-H-O-B-E. You literally got no letters right. Samaje. Oh, it's, uh, I just seen that, it's, uh. P-E-R-I-N-E. -E. Are you a school teacher? How'd you do this? Attorney. Oh, uh, that makes, under advice of counsel, I'm gonna stop this. Sean McVay. Um, S-H-A-W-N. You're disqualified already. Sean McVay. S-H-A-W-N, M-C-V-E-I-G-H. M-C. K V A Y. No K. No. There's no K. S E A N M C V A Y. All right. The fans had a tough time this year. I didn't even get to the hardest names, but they did finish up strong. On Sunday, we will see who can finish up strong on the field, Rams or Bengals, as we crown a Super Bowl champion. Reporting live outside SoFi Stadium, I'm Chris Hagan. That's H-A-G-A-N. Yeah, ding, ding. I know it. H-A-G-A-N. Don't forget it's great. it. great. Chris, thank you very much. And Chris <laughs> will be reporting from Los Angeles leading up to the big game. You can always find more coverage online at CBS4Indy.com. Just click on the Sports tab and then click on Big Game Bound. Oh, boy. I'd have some trouble with those, too. I would, too. Well, today, Mayor Joe Hogsett traveled to the northeast side of town to promote a business aimed at addressing food insecurity. African Market is a SNAP certified grocery store on 38th Street that provides African and Caribbean foods and produce. It's located in what's generally thought to be a food desert. The Office of Public Health and Safety has helped to connect the market with minority-owned farms to ensure residents can get the items they need. Indianapolis is becoming so much more international and cosmopolitan in the makeup of the city. And as a result, I do think that we have an obligation to be a welcoming city by providing access to cuisine, uh, and to tradition. Well, along with supporting businesses like African Market, the city will direct $6 million in American Rescue Plan funding to go towards food access issues over the next three years. Indianapolis Animal Care Services is asking for your help tonight. They're in need of canned pet food donations. The shelter says with their kennels full, they're going through all that food quickly. They say any brand is fine, but they especially do need uh, paste style dog food to give their dogs medication. They have a wish list that you can buy from online. We're going to have a link to that over on our website, cbs4indy.com. Well, today, Carmel friends and family are going head-to-head -head in the Carmel Winter Games. It all starts tonight when the town hosts Hometown Hero Olympics. The Carmel Fire Department is competing against the Carmel Police Department, and you're encouraged to come out and cheer them on. And then tomorrow, teams will be competing in the Carmel Winter Games. It's been a tradition ever since we opened the ice rink up in 2017 to try and find a weekend where we just get on the ice and, and have a party. I remember a time when once you got through Christmas, and this is before the Chris Kittle mark, uh, people just kind of rolled up their sidewalks and stayed inside. There was nothing to do. And, um, you know, winter can get you that way. And so, you know, it's important for uh, physical needs and also for mental needs to get out and do stuff. 
He is right about that. It all starts tonight at 6 o'clock for the Hometown Hero Olympics, followed by the Carmel Winter Games from noon until 4 tomorrow. Sounds like fun. Yeah, it sure does. Well, tax season is underway, and if your family received a child tax credit, you're going to want to pay close attention when filing this year. Next, we're digging into the issues some Hoosiers say they're running into right now. And artists are highlighting the problem of plastic waste in the environment. The new exhibit giving us a glimpse into one possible future. We're live in London tonight with the urgent warning from top U.S. national security officials that a Russian invasion of Ukraine is imminent and Americans need to get out before it's too late. This as the U.S. sends 3,000 more troops to neighboring Poland. Plus the other major headline why Pfizer pulled its vaccine application for kids under five. All that and more tonight on the CBS Evening News. Closed captioning is sponsored by Genesis of Noblesville, the new luxury vehicle. Don't let someone rip you off. Turn to CBS4 Consumer Investigations. Our team will listen to you and cover the truth about who could be walking away with your money. Contact CBS4 Consumer Investigations today. Sky 4 is powered by Fiesel Windows, Roofing, and Home Exteriors. Oh, hello, spicy seasoning. Looking fierce, fire-roasted jalapenos. Pleasure to see you, spicy mayo. French fries? Thought you had plans. Arby's, we have the meat. With FanDuel, you can bet $5 and win 280 cash on either team to win the Super Bowl. So, Lady Luck, yes, ma'am, can take a vacation. Yeah, I'm just going to check your pockets here real quick. Mm -mm. Oh, it's only three ounces. Making the Super Bowl your luckiest day ever. Mine too, buddy boy. New customers can bet $5 and win 280 cash on either team to win the Super Bowl. Only on FanDuel, America's number one sports book. More for your money. At Andy Marquia in Avon, we have the new vehicle you want in stock. And that saves you a bunch of money. That's right. We're your one-stop shop for affordability, quality, and great selection. Lease a new Forte for just $1.99 a month. Or get 0.9% financing for up to 60 months on our most popular new models. Plus, shop over 60 certified pre-owned Kias. So get more for your money at Andy Marquia in Avon. Did you know that you don't need any money to hire Ken Nunn and you can become a client right over the phone? Call the Ken Nunn Law Office right now and let them get started on getting you a great settlement. It's just that easy. We open them and pour them out. Hearts are important. And we at Cleveland Clinic put all of ours into treating the most complex heart cases. The passion they had, the confidence, knowing they could fix me was second to none. I should have come long before. For every diagnosis, for every heart, for every care in the world. Cleveland Clinic. If you've been diagnosed with a heart condition, call 833-814-CARE. The Weather Camera Network is brought to you by Chapman Heating, Air Conditioning, and Plumbing. Well, it's officially tax season. After a unique year full of stimulus aid and child tax credits, there are quite a few things to keep in mind before you file this year. One hot topic is about those child tax credits and what to do if you had a new baby in 2021. CBS 4's Angela Brower has everything you need to know. If you are one of the 32.5 million families that received half of your child tax credit early dating back to July, you're going to receive a form. Hang on to that because it's called the 6419. You'll need it. That basically summarizes the IRS record of how much, how much they received in payments during the year. Um, and when they file their tax return, they have to basically reconcile how much they received during the year versus how much they're actually eligible based on their 2021 tax return. But tonight, some people are reporting the forms are inaccurate. The IRS is now digging deeper to get to the bottom of why. There are three likely reasons you think the information is wrong. Number one, if you're married and only one parent opted out of that child tax credit, you still received a partial payment. That's because both of you needed to unenroll. 
If you moved at the end of 2021, the final child tax credit check was probably returned as undeliverable. Make sure you clear that up with the IRS and the USPS because you missed that last payment. And if you changed bank accounts, your direct deposit was likely rejected since the old account was closed. Your best bet is to use the online child tax credit portal to confirm your new information. If you had a baby in 2021 like I did or you adopted or became a legal guardian, just a note here, you might be eligible for at least $5,000 in payments. That would include the $3,600 in child tax credits, your new family member's $1,400 stimulus check from 2021, and any dependent care credits if you paid for daycare. In the newsroom, I'm Angela Brower, CBS4 News. And the IRS is giving you a few extra days this year to file. That means you'll need to get everything in by Monday, April 18th. That's an important date. The agency is already warning people it is working through a backlog of cases from last year, and they are short-staffed along with that. So be prepared for your refund to take a little bit longer. Two ways around that will be to file electronically and to sign up for direct deposit if you already haven't. Good idea. Well, the International Olympic Committee says it has a zero-tolerance policy against doping. This comes as it seeks a resolution in the case of a Russian figure skater who failed a doping test in December. An urgent hearing at the Court of Arbitration for Sport will decide whether Camilla Valieva can compete in the women's event at the Beijing Olympics, where she is a heavy favorite. We have a 100% uh, policy against doping, and uh, clearly we will pursue all doping cases to the end. We all need to see as quickly as we can a resolution of this, and we are working as fast as we can uh, under the circumstances to get that. Valieva tested positive for a medication that helps treat the symptoms of vertigo and it helps prevent chest pain. If doping is proven, though, a 15-year-old athlete like Valieva faces a maximum two-year ban. Well, if you're looking to get motivated to work out, experts say you should wear your exercise clothes to bed. Okay. <laughs> The idea is that you sleep in the clothes so it's easier to roll out of bed and just go work out. Whether it's a trip to the gym or a walk to the treadmill in your corner of the room, uh, you are ready to get up and get going. I don't yeah. buy it, but that's yeah. uh, what that doesn't work for me. So. Not me either. Well, not, a, cure not for, <laughs> a cure for acne may be on the horizon. A new study has identified 29 new genetic variants associated with acne. People that have more of those variants tend to suffer the worst breakouts. Researchers say knowing acne markers in DNA will help scientists develop more targeted treatments. And another quick and easy change to the diet is adding more veggies, things like broccoli and peas or some less well-known ones like shiitake mushrooms. They're low calorie, they help reduce inflammation and raise your immune system. A more obscure food experts recommend looking into hykema, a type of turnip that helps with excessive blood sugar and is apparently quite good in smoothies. Well, that's mm. interesting. Wow. I think okay. they're trying to tell us something. <laughs> Exercise <laughs> yeah, and right. diet. Keep, it's like, that, what keep is that going, going on? on. You know, it's all good for it. <laughs> yeah. Let's take a look. I know we're, we're talking about the weekend, or of course, Friday here, Chris, and it just doesn't look too good, does it? Here in no, it's kind of cloudy out there right now. We're going to stay cloudy for most of the upcoming weekend. We have had some rainfall make its way across the state today. Most of the rainfall now moving through east central Indiana. We'll get a break for a couple of hours, but there's another cold front that's going to move through overnight and that may cause some rain to change over to a rain snow mix before changing over to all snow before ending early tomorrow morning. So DPW is going to be out there treating the roadways for us tonight. Back behind that second cold front, our winds are going to shift coming in from the northwest this weekend. That's going to bring in a colder floor of air. So temperatures tomorrow aren't going to be as warm as they were today. If you think it's chilly out there, just wait 24 hours. We had a tenth of an inch of rainfall here in the state capital today. Half inch of rain came down in Lafayette less than a tenth of an inch of rainfall between Bloomington and Shelbyville. We still saw high temperatures get in the 40s across the state, as warm as 48 in Bloomington and Columbus, 43 for the high temperature in Richmond and in Muncie. Right now, temperatures are cooling down into the 30s, 37 in Kokomo, 39 in Lafayette. Right now, we're at 38 degrees. Sunrise tomorrow at 741 and sunset at 618, so 10 and a half hours of daylight tomorrow. Days will continue to get longer by about two minutes per day. Now, so far this month has been chilly, been running about a degree and a half below average on our temperatures, and we're going to stay cold on through the weekend. We'll find the high temperature in the middle 20s coming up on Saturday and Sunday in the 30s on Monday, but we'll warm the temperatures in the 40s, getting above average on Tuesday with 
the high at 47. Overnight, it is going to be cold out there, so anything that falls after midnight will freeze up on the streets. We'll cool down to 19 in Kokomo, 20 in Lafayette, and 21 tonight's low temperature in Muncie. Tomorrow, expect clouds and a few flurries around. Also, a gusty northwest wind at 15 to 20 miles per hour, so it's going to be a rather chilly day with temperatures only in the 20s with a few flurries being likely. On Sunday, we'll see a better chance of snow showers in the afternoon, especially across south central Indiana. On Sunday, we'll stay chilly as well with a high temperature at 26. In the seven day forecast, after a chilly weekend, we've got a warm up on the way. 34 for Valentine's Day and 47 with sunshine coming up on Tuesday. Then we'll warm the temperature in the 50s on Wednesday and Thursday before a cold front moves through on Thursday night. And Friday will be a colder day with snow showers and a high of 34. Hey Chris, thank you. You have probably heard of an escape room phenomenon, but chances are you have not tried one like this. Yeah, well, Diving Center in France has made their escape room, get this, underwater. Wow. Participants strap on scuba gear and then the divers work to solve a series of riddles or tasks. But it's made, an, it's made even tougher, though, by not being able to speak and changing light levels. Two other divers monitor the players for safety, watching how long they've been underwater, checking oxygen levels, and when all the clues are found, the divers head to dry land to put them all together and decipher a code while trying to beat the clock. There is one requirement for the unique escape room challenge. Divers need to have completed at least their level one certification to take part. Well, I hope so. Yeah. All right. Well, an art exhibit in Israel is trying to bring attention to the damage that litter is doing to the environment. The Earth Poetica exhibit is made entirely of plastic from oceans and landfills. It seeks to highlight the fact of the 300 million tons of plastic waste created every year, about 79% of it does end up in landfills or in the environment. The main piece is a model of the Earth made entirely of plastic waste. In the intention of, um, in the future, if we don't change the way we make decisions or the way we behave with the world, this is what we're going to be. This is how we are going to look. Scientists believe that a new monitoring system could limit the plastic in the oceans by tracking where plastic is being produced and then where it ends up. Looking for a way to win over that foodie you've had on your eyes this Valentine's Day? A new product to help you break out your old boring poutine. We'll talk about that next. Culligan Water delivers from your first call to your first sip to your first soak. Culligan, give us a tap. The only water that comes with a van. aren't worth putting off like your car insurance good thing we're here to remind you are you looking for a better night's sleep visit your nearest longs mattress location and experience the longs difference we proudly offer the complete line of bulls mattresses including the luxurious west baden collection all made right here in indiana these are great beds that cost way less than those overpriced national brands and you'll love our no pressure highly trained staff they'll make sure you find a new mattress that's perfect for your needs and budget visit any of our indie locations including our new store on whitestown parkway longs mattress everyday low prices everyday honesty Allison 10 speed transmission. Premium features available on GMC Sierra Heavy Duty. Step up to GMC with 0% financing on Sierra Heavy Duty models. GMC, we are professional grade. And now, most admired alum. Get up there. This is so embarrassing. There's no way it's me. <laughs> you know her. You love her. Ruh -ruh. What are you doing here? It's Anna Gomez! Who? Our first gadillionaire. 
with AT&T Fiber and has got the fastest internet with hyper gig speed. I didn't know you went to the school. I have a lot in common. Live like a gagillionaire with AT&T Fiber. Now with speeds up to five gigs, limited availability. Meet Brett from Apartment 2B. He's not letting an overdraft alert get him stressed. He knows he's covered with zero overdraft fees when he overdraws his account by 50 bucks or less. Overdraft assist from Chase. Make more of what's yours. Welcome back. The dating app Tinder is adding a new blind date feature. The app's usual process allows you to swipe left or right based on whether you like what you see from a potential match, so looks play a big part. Well, with the blind date feature, you have to chat with people first before you get to see what they look like. The idea is to pair people based on what they have in common. If both users decide to match up, they will then be able to share each other's photos. There you go. Yeah. Well, would you like your fragrance to make a real statement about you? Well, there is a new scent. <laughs> all the way from Idaho. It's called frites. It's the French word for French fries. And yes, it smells just like French fries. Mm -hmm. Recent survey found that 90% of Americans find the smell of French fries irresistible. I think I'm <laughs> one of them. So the Idaho Potato Commission bottled a limited supply of the fragrance made from, a distilled, made from distilled potatoes and essential oils. And here's the best part. It's only a buck 89 a bottle wow. at idahopotato.com. Oh, what a steal. Yeah. Well, next at <laughs> 6, a new campaign hopes to bring future Hall of Famer Aaron Rodgers to the horseshoe. Now the campaign's leader is looking to draw eyes to his cause. And a series of cell phone robberies lands more than a half dozen suspects behind bars. Why police hope this case serves as a warning for potential thieves. And we now have rain moving out of central Indiana, but overnight we'll see the possibility of a rain-snow mix changing over to snow. We'll talk about that and what it means for your Saturday on CBS 4 News at 6.